Hi, how to present new ideas to management? How to pitch your big ideas to your boss? How to sell your ideas to your boss? So these are some of the common questions that I often got asked. And if you are interested to find out more, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Dixon and today in this video, I want to talk to you about how to present new ideas to management. And specifically, I'm going to share with you a four-step magic formula that you can use so that whenever you need to present new ideas to management or pitch your big ideas to the boss or you need to sell your ideas to your boss, right, you will be able to have a handy framework to help you do that. So exactly uh, what are the four, uh, what are the four steps? Right? Let me uh, explain to you one by one. The first step is what I call pluses process means what is so good about your ideas like what is the um, good thing about your ideas then the second thing is what I call potential potential means like what's the benefit like, if we go implement these ideas what is the potential upside uh, if we explore these ideas so you need to think about that and then the third one is what I call concern concern means Whenever you present something to your boss or to the upper management, you need to be proactive and you need to think ahead, right? What kind of concern they will have. And then last but not least is what we call overcome. Overcome means uh, what are some of the potential solutions that you already think of to address the concerns from the boss or from the upper management. Okay, so uh, to recap, it is plus potential concerns overcome we call it ppco so let me give you an example uh, let's say you're in the f and b food and beverage business and you want to open up a new restaurant you want to expand overseas and let's say you are running um, a restaurant and now you want to expand to japan okay so using this like ppco this four step magic formula uh, how can you do a better job to present new idea to management or pitch um, your ideas to your boss? So let's go through it one by one. So first is what we call the pluses. That means if you expand your restaurant to Japan, like what is the good thing about this idea? What is so good about this idea? Oh, then you may be thinking that, oh, it can bring in additional revenues. It can diversify the business risk and so on and so forth right so this will go in to the first pointer which is the plus the second thing it's about potential okay so if you expand your business to japan right, what are some of the potential benefit to the company what are the potential upside to the ben uh, to the company so you need to think about that and you need to tell your boss so in this case it may be oh um the potential benefit will, will, will be able to establish the first entry point in Japan and that will facilitate the subsequent business expansion. Um, the potential will be, oh, there will be additional revenue coming in. We can build a new revenue stream outside your home country. So these are the potentials. Then the third one, the third one is what we call the concern. So the concern, you need to think about what kind of concern your boss will be having. So in this case, probably your boss will be asking you about, hey, number one, how about the language issue, right? You hire a waiter, waitress, right? You need um, to address the language issue because Japan uh, market is different from the rest, right? And they speak Japanese. So language could be one. Another one is, okay, how can you ensure that our restaurant, um, the food, the products, um, the quality, how can we make sure that we have consistent quality when we expand to Japan. Right? So these are some of the concern. Right? So you, you need to think about, right? you need to so-called predict right, what your boss is going to show right, in terms of concern. And last but not least is overcome. Right? Overcome, that means you also need to tell your boss that you already think about all these issues and how to overcome them. Right? So for example, right, just now, the boss shows concern about the language issue then maybe you you need to address it by um, 
potentially like getting a local business partner or you need to translate all the manuals and operating procedures into Japanese. So you need to do something to overcome um, this concern. And then another thing probably you can do is um, you need to tell your board that you already um, have figured out uh, standard operating procedure or like operation manual already done in Japanese, right? So this can make sure that the food quality, the standards are still there when your restaurant expand to Japan. Okay, so to recap, okay, the four step magic formula is uh, pluses, potential, uh, concerns, and overcomes. Right? So if you can master this like four step magic formula, right, you will be able to present new ideas to management with ease, right, with peace of mind. So I hope this video sharing is something useful. If you like this video, share with your friends and colleagues. Uh, once again, this is Dixon. Um, embrace creative ideas. Cheers.